Nowadays, everything is getting wireless. So why not make a small device which you can install it with pretty much every appliance and should be able to control it with your smartphone by using Bluetooth. So let's make it. First of all, if you're new to my channel, then please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this in the future. Moving on, to communicate with the smartphone via Bluetooth, you will need a Bluetooth module. I went with this HC06 Bluetooth enabled chip. The reason for using this kind of module is that it is compatible with Arduino, which is perfect. So to power up this module, it requires a voltage level from 3.6 volts to 6 volts as Arduino works with 5 volts so we can directly hook up the 5 volt pin to the VCC and ground to the ground. Now to receive and send data to this module, connect the transmit pin aka PX of the module to the receive pin of the Arduino. Now for the receive pin of the module, you can just directly connect it to the transmit pin of the Arduino because this module only works with 3.3 volt logic level which is totally fine with the Arduino when the module wants to talk with it but when the Arduino wants to talk with the module it uses 5 volts logic level which is certainly not good for the module so what we need to do is simple we just have to create a voltage divider according to this formula so I choose resistors of 10 kilo ohm and 5 kilo ohm, which will step down the 5 volts from the Arduino to suitable 3.3 volts. So after establishing all the connections and also adding a status LED at pin number 13, it's time to connect the Arduino to the computer. Now let's move on to the Android app. You have to download Bluetooth terminal from the Play Store. Open the app and scan for devices. My one is named HC06. The pairing code is usually Tetra0 or 1234. So after successfully connecting up with the module, edit the button 1 to on and ask a command to 1. And also the button 2 to off and ask a command to 0. So if we take a look at the Arduino code which is given in the description, you can see that when the code detects 1 as an ASCII character, it will turn the LED on. And if the code detects 0 as an ASCII character, it will turn the LED off. And if you notice this, we have selected the same ASCII 1 to turn on and ASCII 0 to turn off in the Android app. Now before uploading the code, always remember to snip the TX and RX connection from the Arduino. Otherwise, the code will not upload. So after successfully uploading the code, you can see that the circuit is working flawlessly. And now it's time to think about the controlling of awesome gadgets with this little circuit. For this, you just have to add this small magical box known as relay. So I gather all the required components to make a more permanent version on a piece of prop board. So after spending about an hour, it's time to test my creation. Remember, you can turn on and off any kind of AC or DC appliance, but make sure it won't draw more than 10 amps since the maximum current of the relay is limited to 10 amps. I'm using my lab bench power supply set at 12 volts to power the circuit. Now, I'm not going to use my plain or light bulb as my test subject. Instead, I'm going to use this cute little capacitor of Samson. No, Samaxon. This one gonna survive. Anyway, who cares? Thank you. 